Constructive dismissal is where an employee has been effectively terminated by changes or occurrences at work. It's important if you've been constructively dismissed to object to the constructive dismissal. So to make sure that you're, you're being clear that you object to any changes that are being made or if you're being forced out. Um, and it is useful to make sure that you, know, you, that you don't say that you're quitting or that you're voluntarily agreeing to any changes because then uh, constructive dismissal is undermined, your claim would be undermined by your agreeing to any changes. Constructive dismissal tends to be one of two types, monetary or non-monetary. So for instance, um, if someone's pay is cut in half, that would probably be a constructive dismissal. The person is being effectively terminated. They're, they're making $80,000 a year and they're being told, oh, we're changing it to $40,000 a year. That's an effective termination because their wages lowered so much. Uh, this can often take place as well in terms of uh, commissions, uh, changing uh, areas, which is going to result in a much lower amount of money. And then also non-monetary changes. So a demotion, even if the amount of money is the same, might well be a constructive dismissal. As well, if someone's job is fundamentally changed, the president of the company who's told to go and their job is, is now to uh, you know, clean the washrooms, that person is effectively terminated from the job, notwithstanding any compensation changes. There are also other non-monetary instances in terms of if, for instance, someone is unsafe at work or has been assaulted, if the person is being harassed or bullied, uh, if the person is, uh, you know, even to an extent, let's say, locked out of the office. They, they weren't terminated, but the, they show up and the doors are closed and locked. They are effectively terminated uh, based on the provision. Even things such as changing the hours of work. Those are some examples of what constructive dismissal can consist of. But it's, it's a never-ending list. Basically, the important ask the question is, is the employer unilaterally changing the agreement that the employer and the employee had in a way that is unfair to the employee? It's important that you hire a lawyer as soon as possible if you feel that you're being constructively dismissed, pushed out, or there's changes to your contract because employees can often hurt their own chances by saying or doing things that can be seen to be in agreement with the changes. It's a, it's a legal term called acquiescence or agreement to a change. So if an employee, for instance, uh, if there was a fundamental change, they, they worked in Toronto, they uh, are told you're now working in London, Ontario, they go for two or three weeks, that could be seen as acquiescing, agreeing to moving, whereas otherwise a geographical movement from Toronto to London, Ontario would very likely, although it depends where the employee lives, be a constructive dismissal because of the additional amount of transportation time.